first day of my COVID-19 vaccine trials. Mid-November 2020, nice sunny day in Cape Town and I'm on my way to the first appointment to be prodded, poked and maybe get given a, a vaccine that will be tested over the next few months. Um, I decided to volunteer so that I can do something to beat this bloody thing so we can go and travel again and also to just see the process and hopefully to learn a bit uh, get some tests done on myself so I can, I can know a bit about my own health um, to see if there's anything to worry about because I'm feeling good and healthy but yeah time will tell so I will take you through the process over the next few months of how it is to be involved in a vaccine trial this one the COVID-19 let me know if you have any questions anything that you'd like to know about the trial and I'll take you along on the COVID-19 vaccine trial journey well oh, it's just forms and more forms and more forms okay so now it's been blood pressure weight and I found out from my true weight for the first time in 20 years and I'm a lot lighter than I thought and oxometer and temperature let's see what comes next it's a bit unmakelijk voel, ne? Yeah, to sit what you weer stand for. 1, 2, 3, right? And 1, 2, 3, right? Oh, it's good, it's good. Wow, you're the best. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going And so finished my first appointment uh, for the COVID-19 uh, trials in South Africa. A few things um, that I would like to share is the first thing is how much effort I put in to make me understand my rights, to make me understand that I understand what my rights are and even um, making sure that I understand the wording of the documents. Two separate doctors had to explain everything to me and had to check my understanding continuously so that I am 100% clear of what I'm letting myself into. Um, you don't get paid for vaccines in South Africa or for vaccine trials. You don't get paid for vaccine trials in South Africa. You're not allowed to get paid for it, which is a good thing. Um, so it's very clear that you do this voluntary. Um, they do pay like a little bit of money for transport. You get trained on how to take a self-test, how to do the nose thing yourself, and you get a little kit so that in case you, you are positive or in case you need to test yourself they do supply you with a, bo a box um, a little bag of all of the necessary stuff to, to do to take the test a no swap, a ruler you get a oximeter a little device that you put on your thumb to measure your your um, blood oxygen level and a thermometer every time you go back you have to use the same thermometer I forgot that I need to take it back um, so that your temperature is always measured by the same thermometer and then if you get sick you can measure your pulse and your blood oxygen levels so yes the paperwork was probably the longest and the most obviously the most boring part and then you get administered maybe a vaccine because 50 percent of the participants get a placebo and 50 percent get a vaccine the people administrating the test do not know whether you're getting a vaccine or whether you're getting a placebo then um, any effects on me um, no um, in the first week after the vaccine you have to take your temperature every day twice a day and you have to check um, where they did put uh, the, the needle in if there's any adverse effects I showed about no swelling 
I mean, extremely mild swelling. Um, I had no adverse effects as well on my health. There was no funny feeling. I didn't feel sick. I didn't feel, feel really flu-like at all. Um, so no adverse effects. Um, so for me, that was my first month. Nothing funny, nothing weird. Um, I'm in retrospect, I'm happy I did it. Uh, it was an interesting experience. Um, I would do it again as well um, to, to do a little part in finding out. And then the purpose of the vaccine is to check if it's got negative impacts on different people. So no, I'm not supposed to go and try and get infected to see if the vaccine actually works. From my understanding, they know that the vaccine works. It's about checking the long-term impact of a vaccine on a broad range of people. So now for six months, I will check if I have symptoms twice a week. I report it on a little smartphone app that I just submit yes or no. If I find I have any adverse effects, then there's a further questionnaire that I need to fill in. I need to administrate the self-test and either and curry it in or they could come and do it at my home as well. There's doctors on hand that you can phone if you have any questions or if anything funny happens. So you see, see the same doctors every time. And yes, that's about my experience. Um, obviously I'm not an anti-vaccine so please don't Tell me you're anti-vaccine. If you're anti-vaccine, you're anti-vaccine. I'm, I'm, I'm at peace with some people being anti-vaccine. I want to get vaccinated as soon as possible so that we can stop the spread. And I hope the vaccine works. Obviously we're learning more and more f about this disease and people have multiple opinions and we all have our right to our, our opinion. I want to beat this thing. And that's why I'm doing my little part. In a few weeks I'm going back for my second tests. So I will share my experience of the two months. And I'm back for my vaccine test number two. Some more blood and questions. To see if we can beat this COVID thing. Let's see how it goes. So the second bunch of blood being drawn and temperature again. I was not I didn't bring my own thermometer and you're supposed to use the same thermometer every time so that they get consistent results from that one device. I'll do better next time. And I'm back from my second checkup on the COVID-19 vaccine trials. Still um, just a lot of blood and questions. Um, no adverse effects from my side. Still no flu. I don't think I've had COVID. A lot of people um, get it without knowing. So only time will tell. They took some blood. Even if they pick up in the blood that I have COVID or I've had it, they don't tell you. As they say, it actually changes people's behavior once they think they're immune. And the idea of the test is to check what, how, um, what happens in real life without trying to influence the results. So you don't get told any, anything. If you want to get a test done yourself, you can and pay for it. But you're not supposed to. So it's all good so far. No funny, ex no funny feelings, no f adverse effects. Um, nobody's tracking me more than before, so no, no, nothing, nothing really funny to report, and I'm still very happy I've done this. So thank you very much to all our patrons. It's your support that makes these videos possible. We really appreciate it, and uh, can you please like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already? 
please let us know if you have any questions if you have any suggestions and share your experience with us we hope everybody stays happy and healthy in 2021 and let's beat this thing we'll be back um, soon with another video of our holiday down by the river so see you guys soon bye bye join fearless on four wheels as we share our passion for travel find us on social media and subscribe to support us go to patreon.com forward slash fearless on four wheels and get exclusive content and see all our videos